What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jermaine 3G back at it with another banger. And in today's video, we got another special unboxing for y'all. So I had this package for a couple of days. Now I didn't open it. I was doing other stuff, kind of busy. But now we finally had the time to open it. We gonna open this package. And I got another package I just got in today. And yeah, we got this package from Finish Line. This is something that I wanted to get prior to the other jacket that I had. So I wanted to see how this would fit. Plus, that one did. Bro, I hate every time I do a video on yarn, bro. I don't understand why, like, oh my goodness. But I hate that it didn't fit how I wanted it to, which I will eventually be able to wear it. But I want to get another one and see how this fits. So we are gonna get straight into it. And uh, yeah, let's get it. So it says no knife, so we are gonna barely cut it. But yeah, it's not a knife though, it's a box cutter, so. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure they might have a receipt in here, like they usually do. Yep, it's most likely gonna be at the bottom, 100%. Oh, they don't, okay. That's the first time that I got something from Finish Line and they didn't have the receipt inside, which is cool. So, uh, as y'all can see, that's what we got. We got another North Face jacket, but we got an extra large this time. And I believe this is the Ontario jacket. So we doing another video on this. But the main reason I want to compare them is the size and God. So I believe this should fit better than the last one I had. And, uh, we might as well just go on downstairs. I'm gonna try it on downstairs, but let me just show y'all. So this how it's looking. We got an XL, and I'm telling you, I got an XL for now, but I will not be needing this XL. I'm gonna actually give it to my, I'm gonna trade it out. Cause I bought two. My mom, she has the other one, but I'm gonna get her this one. Once I get to that uh, weight, so. Let me get these scissors. And I actually like this jacket. It's just, it was too tight on me. And I was kind of gaining weight, so. Yeah, but not for long, though. You know what I'm saying? That was just a temporary thing. And we're gonna keep these tags. We're gonna put the tags in the back. I always try to keep the original tags with any of my items. So it, even if I were to sell it, it would be OG all. And then here go another uh, gel pack. So we're gonna put all our, let me show out the tag once again. There we got. And I got this. I pretty much pay like 64, no 70. Oh, yeah, this how the front looking. This is the same as before. Then it's the back. So we're gonna go downstairs and try it on. We're gonna put, go downstairs and put it on. That way y'all can see how it fully looks on me. So let's get straight into that. All right, y'all. So I'm liking how this fitting already. I just put it on. I haven't zipped it up yet, but it's a little more loose. Now the size large that I have, it's, it's cool, but the arms, I might try to go upstairs and get it if I can find it, but the arms is kind of loose. This is way more of a space than I need. Well, it's loose. And this is how it looks unzipped. So it's kind of like right below my waist. The other one is like right around my waist. And uh Let's see how it fits when it's zipped up. Now that's the thing, the other one, it didn't look as tight, but it didn't have the space that I wanted. Like this, I could put a hoodie under or something. This is like the perfect amount of space that I would need. So it's kind of like true to size. I'm starting to become more of an XL now. So this one fits way better than a large.
And then I'm gonna try it on with the hood. And I'm gonna try to find the large that I have so I can compare the two. But um, other than that, they real comfortable. I feel like you could wear this during the summertime. Um, as like a summer jacket, it's not too, I would have it unzipped so you could let some ventilation come in. But I feel like this work during the, not only that, but during the winter time, no, not the winter. I like the fall time, I will have like people look a layer, so I will have like a hoodie or something. But overall, it's really nice. Yeah, let me put my pockets in because I know I used to wear it like this. You know. So I'm going to see if I can find the large upstairs and try to compare the two, but if not, then we're going to end out the video. So, I, and I appreciate my other video. Y'all been showing so much love and support. And yeah, I never knew that video was gonna do that many views. So I had to get another jacket that would be more my size. And I will be able to fit that one eventually. So yeah, man, I'm gonna try to go upstairs and find that jacket. But if not, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'm out. All right, guys, so good news. The video is not over just yet. I was able to find the other jacket that I did in the last video. Like I said, I appreciate the support. So let me just uh, compare the two sizes just to get y'all the size and idea. So currently I want to say I'm 250, 5, 8. Uh, yeah. And this is XL and I'm going to put on a large. So you're about to see how the large fits. Three, two, one. Okay, now y'all can see the difference. Now, ideally, the large can make me look smaller, but it feel like it'll be more my size. So I wouldn't wear the one their size unless I'm like really in shape, which as y'all can see by the gut, not really, but it's okay. Uh, this actually does fit nice though. But if I were to want to have something under, it would be a no-go. But yeah, it's crazy. The large does fit different than the XL. The XL has more space. And when I'm sitting down with the jacket zipped up, it wouldn't be nice. And the only good thing I would wear this for is if I'm not having a zip, you know, like a summer jacket, I wouldn't have the, well, even the XL would be nice because it would really be breathable. But if I was just to be wearing it like this, this would be perfect. Perfect sizing. It fits better on me, it looks better. That one does look a little more oversized to XL, but it's more of my size. For right now, I'm really about to be grinding with these YouTube videos on also my weight loss journey, so stay tuned for that. I didn't want to put it on camera yet, but the more I try to not do it, I end up procrastinating more and more and making excuses to why I can't do this or why I don't have time for that. But we're gonna really start, it's really about discipline and my discipline and willpower has been way off recently. So enough talking. I just wanna take all my you know, energy and put it into actual action and making things happen. So if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new. And one more thing, just to go back, to the size, you know, I'm not gonna edit nothing this time, but just to put the size XL on, just to really show y'all that it is a difference. And uh, that I wasn't capping, so that's how the XL look. It's way more, see, I like the tightness of it, because it makes me feel a little more in shape, but at the same time, that's like, I don't know. This one just feels more loose, comfortable type feel. But I'm gonna be able to put the large better eventually. It's gonna take some practice, but this how the XL fit, way more space, you know. So that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you know. And let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. What, uh, if y'all need any help with sizing, just hit my DM, IG, Jermaine 3G. Everything is in the link in the description down below. I need to start saying that more often. Cause I know a lot of y'all do see my IG and y'all click the link in the description. A lot of y'all be hitting me up. I promise you, I might not see it right away, but I try to respond to each and every one of you guys. 
I thank you guys for the support. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'm out, bro. Dang it.